Welcome to our lecture online, a handy tool to use in probability distributions is what we call a variance summary table. And so what we're going to do here is show you what that looks like, again using the same variable. We have the possible, vari var uh, the possible values for x being 1, 2, 3, 4, and the corresponding probabilities of each of those four values as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0.4. And of course here we have a visual representation of what that looks like through a histogram of the probability distribution. So here's our table. We call it the variance summary table. And notice the reason why we call it the variance summary table, because essentially we're trying to calculate the variance. And notice we start with all the possible values for x and the corresponding probabilities that will have that possible value for x. So these are the probabilities of our random discrete variable. Now we multiply the values that x can have times its corresponding probability, and this is what we have. And when we add it all together, we get what we call the mean of the probability distribution, which we calculated before to be 3. Then we subtract each of the values that x can be, or actually I should say we subtract the what we call the mean of the probability distribution from each of the four values that x can be. So 1 minus 3, 2 minus 3, 3 minus 3, and 4 minus 3, and so we get these values. This is simply the difference between all the possible values of x and the mean of the probability distribution. Then we take each of those differences and we square them. We get 4, 1, 0, and 1, and then we, for convenience, repeat the same column over here. We write the probabilities of each of the four values that x can be, the variable, the, that, x can, no, the variable that x represents. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these, so 4 times 0 0.1, 1 times 0 0.2, 0 times 0 0.3, and 1 times 0 0.4, which we have over here, which is what is listed there. And then when we add them all up, by definition, the sum of all these products ends up being the variance of the probability distribution or the ver of the variance of the discrete variable distribution. So that is a nice handy tool to have. Notice that those are the calculations we go through to eventually call, uh, calculate the variance. And so therefore we call that a handy tool to have. It's one way. Now there's another way in which we can calculate the variance. And if you're interested in that, We'll put that on our next video to show you how to calculate the variance in a different way that might be slightly easier than the way we showed you here. So stay tuned and see what that looks like. 